I ran a 206. Flat. Alright, you'll see I managed to get a really good start and uh, put a nice car length or so ahead of everyone else and managed to make it through the first corner and avoid the chaos. Uh, somebody got spun there. This allowed me to uh, open up a nice little gap between me and second place. And moving to the end of lap one, as we come across the line here, uh, onto lap two, you'll see that I managed to improve the gap a little more. And I'm going to show the entirety of lap two here, as this is the fastest lap of the race set by me. Got a little bit of a slide into T1, which allowed uh, P2 to catch up to me just a bit but I still had enough distance that I could safely uh, take my own line and not have to worry too much about being under attack just yet. Go around and make sure you slow it down really good and try and stay as close to the curving as possible for that hairpin. Could have done a little bit better at that, but uh, did maintain a little bit more speed. This long left here is a hard one to uh, to get right. The car just really wants to understeer going up the hill. Into this really late braking zone. You can see he almost catches up to me there. I've got about a car length left. But uh, I think I got a better exit than he did there. And... Coming down the hill and into this turn, I managed to keep it on the track, and he put it on the grass a little bit, so that slowed him back down. And then these last few corners here are all about just get, like getting the right flow. And as long as you can get the car to rotate around each of the corners and hit the curbing appropriately, it it feels really good once you put it all together and get a nice smooth sector but again back onto the front straight uh, at the end of lap two across the line for a 206.813 and that's going to be the fastest lap moving on to lap four you see that I have a oh holy shit I had a bit of a moment there where I just dropped one wheel in the grass and gave me a little bit of a brown pants moment. But luckily I saved it and managed to keep it under control. Now I was a little bit concerned that I may be under attack from P2, but he is still far enough back. 
We're going to the end of the race now. Coming onto the main straight for the final lap. Again, same situation, same P2 and P3. There's a decent little gap uh, ahead of them there. But at this point, I am very much worried about tires as my left front tire is pretty much completely gone as are the the other drivers I'm assuming um, so now it's just about staying nice and steady not losing traction anywhere not trying to go too fast just trying to be smooth and make it around the final lap any issues. Hopefully I can bring home the win here. Um, but as my tires are extremely worn, I am slowly losing my lead to the Canadian in P2. Just keep it tidy, hairpin there. But he is definitely well within draft range at this point, so he's right on my bumper now. He actually managed to get a really good exit on that corner and almost able to get a little look up the inside, but made sure to defend, and he wasn't super aggressive, so that's good. He could have easily just shunted me off into the shadow realm. That was a close race. Pole position star, clean race star. I don't think I got the fastest lap. It's the last sector of S's that I'm not super good at. Hey, I did get the fastest lap. Holy crap, I did the trifecta. Pole, fastest lap, and clean race. Wow. All right, that's uh, that's my night.